gang, FLX Beer Review is back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan. What are we drinking? Mike. Not quite sure. <laughs> We're going to figure it out. <laughs> hey, are we? No free. Uh, so this is from the Talia. Talia? 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 Brewing Talia? Company. Oh, cool. um, they're out of uh, Brooklyn, New York. And this is their Bodegosa. It's a sour ale. Bodega. It's not Gosa. It's goes. It's like goes. Bodega. Yeah, it's go um, anyways, it's a 5.2 ABV Goza. It's goes. Goza. Goza. Gozer. You've chose your destroyer. Uh, sour ale brewed with cherries, mango, and pink peppercorn. Yum. In collaboration with the Dogfish Brewing Company. Oh, how about uh, that? Dogfish Head, sorry. Dogfish, 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 dogfish goes. Uh, Bam. We're head. screwing up big time. It doesn't here. matter. It's okay. Nobody cares. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> there's a whole lot of writing there. <laughs> a lot of fine print. Uh, so basically, the gist of it, Sam, the owner of Dogfish Head, he uh, made some homebrew way back in the early 90s. Decided to add a bag of cherries from his local NYC bodega. And, uh, you know, Telly is in Brooklyn, so they decided, let's go to some bodegas. And uh, they started around five spots in McCarran Park, and they sorted through all the finest bodega fresh fruits, herbs, and spices, and they landed on, uh, yeah, cherries, mango, and pink, pink peppercorn. So, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, canned on 10-18-2022. This is kind of old. We'll see. We'll see. What hey, Mike. Mike, where do we get this beer? The other half swirling, swirling, swirling into infinity. Uh, I got this beer. Dead to me. <laughs> I got this beer, beer from my good pal, uh, Tommy Lincoln of Stay Fresh. Stay Fresh Design in uh, Syracuse, New York. Uh, he was kind enough to bestow this upon me. Uh, that looks gorgeous. Man, that's uh, much like he does. Um, that's getting hot in here. I got to yeah! Woo! Color of this Woo! beer is getting us to remove our garments. Oh boy. Yeah, if we were to get the... copyrighted, I would just insert Nelly right there. Getting hot in here. We'll make up our own song. Uh, that, look at all the floaties in there. Oh yeah. Holy jeez. Uh, it looks like grapefruit <laughs> juice. Uh, that dead yeast is screaming, You should have drank me in 2022! Why didn't you open me fresh? You fool! Uh, looks like Himalayan salt is in there, much like... Uh, like it's a, almost the color you know, of pink Himalayan salt. A little Ryan's bit. It's like a little bit darker, salt. though, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but it looks like grapefruit juice a but little dude, bit. Oh, my God, yeah, the floaties. Nice head retention. I mean, yeah, for uh, Loy BB Sour. Goes. Goes. Uh, That's the way it goes. Uh. Oh, the jokes are rolling in. Whew. Don't drink too many Gozes on the channel, do we, we Mike? Don't. We really don't. I... Gozed myself out after Crafty's mixed berry and oh, I yeah. just hammered so much. So you definitely get uh, a little bit oh, of salinity. Man. Yeah. It's been uh, a real pleasant level of salinity. Cherry, definitely. Yep, I think that's... I don't know if I'm getting too much mango. It's cherry. That's what I was searching for. Well, like, the mango. Maybe there's mango, but it's like, it's... Maybe it's died down the freshness, but everything's the, pretty subtle for me. I, I feel like it's in there, but it's, it's died down. The cherry's kind of taking it. It's like yeah, a, it's like a salty it's, cherry. You know what it smells like right now? The Dollar Tree version of a cherry push-up pop. This is a Dollar Tree beer. I doubt it. Is your friend would have done that to you? I wouldn't think so. But do you think that he's shiesty. What if they made beer? That could be the market. Aldi has beer now. Why not Dollar Tree? I know Trader Joe's has beer. I mean, come on. Wegmans even did all their half beer. Yeah, I want Dollar Tree beer. I like the label. Let's talk about the McCarran Park. Yeah, it's a really nice looking label. Like the. There's a lot of information on there. Great artwork. There's yeah, so much information. I'm pretty sure I could go to this exact spot and just navigate based on this can label. I'm okay alone. with that. So, just want to let you know. Let's dive in there. You've just got the label ripped off. You're walking around showing people. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Tommy. I appreciate hey, it. Uh, hey, you know where this is? Have you seen this Talia van? That, that says dogfish. All right, okay. Just tell me where it is. I heard they made uh, some gozas. You like gozas? Yeah, how about it goes to fuck yourself, huh? That's what the uh, New Yorkers would be like if they're from Italian, Italy. Who are you really directing that rage towards, Dan? <laughs> I don't know. I did not mean to offend anyone. <laughs> it's been a day. 
that's uh, a bit tart. It's a bit tart, a bit sour, mm. salinity. It's it's very refreshing. I'll tell you what, we're at over a year old, right? Yeah. But I'll tell you what, like, it is, I think refreshing is the key word. Like, it's tart, but it's not Ooh. overly tart. There is, like, a, a nice, like, ocean spray kind of refreshing nature to it. That pink peppercorn. Maybe that's kind of like that weird little tingle on the back end. Mm -hmm. It gives it like a, a slight kind of vegetal, like a quick vegetal hint to it in the front. Really? A little cottony mouth on the side. Vegetal? Yeah. Like I get like a, like there's some leaves in there as well. You know what you... Mm. I don't know. For being old, I feel like I, I'm curious as to what it would be fresh, but I feel like this is held up. If it's almost like a, a cherry, uh, like a, a cherry sour patch kid, but like way less sweet. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I get that very much. So, like the sweetness. I mean, there's a there's a decent amount of sweetness, but this is uh, oh, this is good. I like this. I'm not getting a lot of heartburn yet. That's not good. at all. But the, the, the acidity is there that may think it's going to happen. But I, You know what I am getting now? What? The mango. You can touch the mango. Oh, I love the mango. Chris Kattan, like, shout out. <laughs> I get it. Man, that, that fresh Shwetty. mango is really showing up. No, that's, no, that's uh, Alec Baldwin. Yeah. I, I, this is good. I could definitely see myself sipping on this at the uh, bodega. Yeah. Brown uh, paper bag in it. <laughs> Sitting out front, folding chair. Eat my caprese salad. <laughs> there you go. Man, we got to paint the whole picture here, as we are wont to do. In my mind, though, I just pictured pulling walnuts from uh, Sopranos. Man, that name has come up a lot lately. I hear it constantly. Okay. I still have never seen this. What show. do you rate it? You've never seen Sopranos? No. no really? No. Yeah. No, you've had to see something. Clips or something. I mean, clips, but like I've never. Okay. But to that. say you've never seen a moving picture featuring anything. Well, obviously, I didn't Sopranos. mean that when I said I haven't seen Sopranos. I, I've seen clips, I've seen pictures and everything, but I've never seen a full episode of it. I like the one with some pulp. Yeah, that's a reference to the show that we're probably talking about. I really think you need to... That's that's almost like an injustice, I think. I remember seeing... I didn't realize how old it was, but I was in a Salvation Army, and there was, like, a VHS set of, like, the second season or something. I was like, oh, wow. You know, what, right. you know what's funny is um, I just found <laughs> all the DVDs that I had that... Way back in the day, that survived uh, the fire. Oh, really? For my for my one apartment. No there. kidding. Um, I actually grabbed it because I was like deciding what I was gonna keep or whatever. Sure, okay. The only one I said I'm gonna keep, including the curbs. Okay. Oh, the because curbs. I have all new curbs. I remember borrowing those back. Yeah, in yeah. The day. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I mean, the DVDs are good, but I was like, ah, whatever. But the one I kept was Fear of the Black Hat. Oh was, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, the case is kind of charred, but the DVD's oh. still great. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Sopranos, though, like, I think, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but... <laughs> yeah, you've never been one to do that. <laughs> I, I just, here's the thing. Wait, why don't, it doesn't interest you, doesn't appeal to you, the, the mafia, the crime, like... The no, books. I like all that stuff. The, I just never watched it. I just, I implore you... By the time, I, I think it was one of those, by the time I was able to watch it... It was so far in. Okay. And then the end happened. I was like, oh, I guess I know the end. Here, here's and the then thing. that's that. Here's the thing. If I could just pick one episode mm -hmm. a month. And by the time you're like 70, you'll be watching all. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Why would I want to do that? Because I'll, I'll, I'll lose interest after the first month. No, because I'm trying to I'm trying to give you a reasonable Like I watch an episode. Like I go home today and I watch an episode, and then next month you're like Episode two, I'm like, of what? <laughs> oh, okay. come on. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to quit this channel if you don't do this. So. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, no, but seriously, like, just if, if you find yourself with a free 40 minutes, 45 minutes, <laughs> just watch the first episode. All right. Well, we'll see. Well, let me throw it back at you. We'll see. I pray for your soul. It's just, I, don't, I just don't know how you don't watch. It's like, that's I've a gone along this far in life without it. Yeah, but here's the thing. That's like American cinema. Like, well, says you. Did we rate this? No. How many Sopranos do you give it? <laughs> How many walnuts? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I will give this. Yeah. It's weird. I don't drink a lot of these, so I'm not sure. I know. I think that's what's kind of fun about it, because it's not a style I visit very often at all. Crafty's killed it for me. Dude, I drank so much. I was drinking it by the gallon, it seemed like, at one point. And this is a year old. I said before, I think it held up really well. I don't know what it is fresh, but this is delicious. I'll give it a... In the land of Gozes? 3.9 out of 5. That's exactly where I was going to hit it, too. I don't know how to rate it. It's a year old. I don't know what it is fresh. But I bet fresh. I bet... It's so delicious. I, I bet fresh. I bet, like, the mango really popped. I feel like everything has got to be popping. Like, all the fruit flavors are there. It's a little more bombastic, like... Oh my god, I didn't even say that. It's like a little bit like Pop Rocks. Okay, I can see that. What would you pair with this? Fish? Fish? White fish? Alright. Well, I'm kind of good, I think. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't know. Bunch of birds out there. Bada bing! Bada boom. Is that from the show? The Bada Bing Club? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's a strip club. Interesting. It's original. See, here's the thing. I, I normally, I, de I detest, like, when someone's like, oh, you got to watch it. It's so awesome. But, like, it's proven. It's won so many freaking awards. Like, it's that just a... anything. What? It doesn't mean anything. This is a popularity contest. It it's not a pop... It's, it's a fine TV show. Well, now you're saying it's just fine. Why would I waste my time on a fine TV show? I like to watch quality TV shows. I want my television shows to be above fine. Very fine and above. can't be as good as Corky Romano. That's like the bar I set Mafia stuff at. Corky Romano? Yeah. Holy. Oh my God. Isn't there the Corky Romano too? No, there's a Deuce Bigelow too. <laughs> I, I always get the yeah. two crowns. <laughs> it's not the same person. <laughs> oh, it's not? No. <laughs> oh. it's, one's Rob Schneider and the other's uh, Chris Kattan. <laughs> Chris Kattan Oh, you Corky can't touch Romano. the mango. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. we are just talking about You can't about touch that. the mango? You can't have the mango? The, uh... Well, now I don't know anymore. All right. Yeah, they were both on SNL. Maybe that's why I got them mixed up. Yeah. Is that where Sopranos started? Was that it was an SNL sketch or something like it? Was that one of those movies? It, it started like, hey, that was a really great bit. Like Mike Myers was, you know, uh, considior. And, and they were like, hey, let's make a movie out of this. Now let's make a show. Let's make a show that you could watch one episode a month and be okay with it. You know what? Let's just make a fine television show. It doesn't have to be good. doesn't have to be bad. Let's just make it fine. Is that what they did? Lauren Michaels probably got a lot of money from Sopranos. What movie was that? I just... Oh, uh, Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. I just read... I saw it on Reddit. Uh, you read it on Reddit? Yeah, I read it on Reddit. It was either from like a book or a vlog or whatever, but... Or he put it himself. Quentin Tarantino mm -hmm. put out his original notes when he was coming up with the idea for the movie. Oh, really? On who his number one choice was to play each character. Okay. That is a very, very uh, like if you just different movie. Just look up on like Reddit or, or Google uh, original wanted cast member for Pulp Fiction. It changes the whole dynamic of that <laughs> film. If like some of those people that like he wanted to play them. Yeah. Like I'm just like. I can't imagine that. Do you ever read those? They're like, hey, this was the original person that was supposed to be cast in this movie, but this is who they got. And you're like, I can't imagine it without this. I bring that up because I feel like that. I feel like I read something like with Soprano. Somebody else was supposed to play Tony Soprano, but I can't. But it only... wasn't Chris Kattan. He did such a great job in Corky Romano. They were like, this guy could helm a fine show. I like just that. like, I can't picture anybody but Gandolfini doing yeah, it. Yeah, see, that's one of those things. You can't picture anyone but that that person who made it so great. 
or fine or whatever it is. I'm not watching that movie that came out pissed a lot of people off. Did you watch the movie? Oh, they did a prequel one, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Why would I watch it? I didn't watch the show. Because it's a prequel, so it wouldn't matter. It's nothing for you to remember. It's a prequel. It no. tells the origin story. So if anything... That's like saying, oh, let me watch Phantom Menace, but I've never seen Star Wars. Am I going to know what's going on? That makes no sense. And in, in all actuality, if you watch them in order, then it makes more sense. Phantom Menace was a fun Because you're like, oh, I grew up with Anakin. Is there's Tony the, Soprano like the Anakin of the Mafia? You know, movies? there's the Blade Order. The what? The Blade Order of how you're supposed to watch Star Wars. Like, Oh, I don't. And it, le it leaves out. Uh, <laughs> what was it? It leaves out the Phantom Menace. That's foolishness. Or no, not fan mess. Oh, what one did it leave out? It leaves out one of them because it was just like, not good. How about the complete sequel trilogy? Those weren't good. Those were an abomination. They wait, were not fine. Wait, what are you talking about? The ones with... Um, like the Force Awakens and all those. You didn't like that with Ray? Oh, they were garbage. Really? I like Force Force Awakens is okay. The other ones two were freaking garbage. I don't like the, the fact that they made Finn... Like, they built Finn to be something. Like He never was. He should have been like a Jedi. Yeah, Probably. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Now Finn's just a lackey. No respect. They underutilized him. They didn't know what they were doing. It's really good. You know, this is what happens when you drink a year plus year old Goza. You know what's funny? All the stuff creeps into your mind. You know what's funny? We've done this Not with us. A, a high ABV, like barrel aged barley wine. We sit there and contemplate things. We have long conversations we're doing this with a year old 5.1 percent ghosts a ghost ah it's really good you ever had people that like do that what finish your words for you <laughs> well that but like with goza goze ghosts oh no i have not it's annoying <laughs> Where are they doing that? At breweries. Oh, no, I've never Because what, what, like, okay, I'm not going to pretend that I know how to pronounce everything because I don't, and I'm sure I mispronounce that. I used to call them IPAs all the time. But just but learned the other week. IPAs? Yeah, they're IPAs, I guess. That's what they say. Well, dippas. 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 Take a dipper in the Goza. Hey, dipper in the Goza, bodega music. Dipper in the Goza, bodega music. We've offended so many people, I think, today. Everything we do offends everybody. We're very offended. Isn't that how it... Yeah, it's, that's life, though. How it is. Yeah, it is what it is. What do you yeah, think they do? This is very refreshing. It really is. It's like almost like a, a, a cocktail. It kind of is. You right? know what I mean? Like, you, if somebody said, oh, you, you want a vodka cocktail? Put some garnishes on there and everything. Like yeah, that, that'd absolutely. be like a vodka cocktail. Just without the vodka and not as much booze. You can, you can put vodka in it. Okay. I wish we had more of that. It was delicious. I would say you're going to drink another. Well, I'm sure you can hop in your DeLorean and go to Brooklyn, New York and get some on October 18th, 2022, the year of our Lord. Mm -hmm. 1.21 gigawatts. Maybe your friend's still cellaring some. He very well might be. <laughs> Put it out there. Yeah, Tommy. Why don't you go in your garage fridge? You got some stash back there? I'll drink it. I'll how, take how, it off your How hands. good of a friend is this guy? Oh, he's a good pal. Is he? Oh, yeah. A good pal to stay 19 minutes and 36 seconds? Oh, I think so, he checked out about 17 minutes ago. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> he knows better. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, he's, he, he's a, he's a go-getter. He doesn't have time for our particular brand of nonsense to go on this long. You know what, Mike? Let's just do the right thing right now. Okay. Hey, Billy. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Billy. <laughs> Maybe Jesse. Maybe. Beer Patrol say he stayed, but he's... Nah. 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 It's over. <laughs> uh, just listen. You can treat this like a podcast. Just, you know, listen to it. Yeah. You don't need to see us. Yeah. I mean... I'm white as a ghost right I now. I feel like you prefer... I need to call it correction. See us. I can never... I can never live. Like... I, I just want... <laughs> I can never live. Just stop the review right there. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, we're going to we're gonna do some reviews outside. <laughs> That's going to be nice. <laughs> what, are you, what are you reeling people back in? 
<laughs> hey, uh, if you've stayed this long and you're real bored, yeah, I mean, we can tantalize you with uh, saying, hey, we're going to do some reviews outside. You guys like the outdoors? Is the indoors just like the one thing I would change about this channel? It's all the walls so, and the ceiling. I don't know stuff. how good I'm going to get my skin after color corrupting. <laughs> But if it's not good, and Mike, I think this complexion, it makes me seem just like ghastly. And I'm just like, I don't like it. it I, I, I get very sensitive about it. And I just feel like people are like, man, that Dan guy, he's probably got a month to live. And it's just like, I that, that's not what's going that whatsoever. I just hate when our shit's overexposed. And this intelligent auto, that's not overexposed. I think it's got to do with this. We're changing this whole thing. If, the, <laughs> if, if people knew... <laughs> How much time, I wouldn't even say spent, we've wasted on lighting and trying to color correct your afterlife appearance here. Oh my gosh. It, it would boggle the mind. Well, there's one thing for sure I know, Mike. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. Uh. <laughs> See what a 20 minute way to get to that joke. <laughs>